what did you find in that journey that led you to write not one but multiple copies of the books? And what are some of the highlights that are uh, that are in there? That are, and by the way, thank you for giving our, our viewers a copy of uh, of the new release, Sold. My pleasure. Um, what are some of the highlights in there, and what led you to to write them? Well, what I found, Glenn, was when I was sitting down to talk to uh, my prospective sellers, that a lot of them really didn't know a lot about how to go about selling a property. They mm. it might have only been once or twice in their lives that they'd sold it. It could have been 10 or 15 years since they'd sold a property and uh -huh. everything has changed so dramatically in recent times in our industry. So um, I thought that I, I needed to write a book to you know, put it out in the plan to show people what they need to do to get mm -hmm. their property sold quickly and for top dollars. So yeah. that was the reason why, was really to, to give my sellers and prospective sellers and um, other people in the market, property owners, how they can go about selling the property quickly for top dollar. Yeah, and you co-authored uh, with your business partner, Justin, uh, your second book there, um, and he works with you as well. Tell us how you guys work as a team and what that adds to serving your clients and sellers and things, and how maybe our viewers should be on the lookout, perhaps for a team with complementary skill sets. Yeah, well, I think that the key word there is team. Um, you know, we can't do everything ourselves in this industry. It is a very complex industry. So mm -hmm. um, having people in our team, and Justin's a, a big part of that so he handles he's good at doing certain things that I have I'm not good at <laughs> I'm you know I recognize what I'm good at and there's things I, I'm not good at so um, he jumps in and does those things that I'm not good at so as a team we work together well but you know we've got a lot of other people on our team as well it's not just us yeah we've got, no, got a I've large team so for yeah. sure well sh should we be wary of the agent then that is trying to wear all hats and in today's market that where so much is needed to be done to get those premium prices that you're priding your, your client successes on, should we be wary of that solo agent playing it as an individual? Yeah, absolutely, Glenn. We get this all the time. Um, you know, a very simple example is that when we're calling our buyers back that have been through our open homes, when we're calling them back, they'll say, well, this is interesting. I went through eight open homes on the weekend. You're the only agent that has actually called me back wow. since the, the weekend. So that's a, a clear indication of someone who can't handle everything that's going on. It's a very big workload when you're trying to service your, your clients and your buyers and your sellers in this, in this industry, so you can't do it all yourself. Mm -hmm.